Hi you guys, so quickly I want to show you how to download the Congratulations Senior 2023 files on the Google Drive. So um, I can't go into it the way you do, but what you'll basically do is you'll go into your purchases. Once you get to your purchases, you will see a congratulations PDF, okay? I need you to open that PDF, you'll download it. I have a MacBook, so this is where my downloads will go. I'm going to open that up and bring my other screen over. Thank you so much for your purchase. This is a Google Drive link, okay? You cannot add all those files to Etsy as it just does not have the storage for it. So we have to create a Google Drive link. You click on the Google Drive link, okay? Google Drive is going to pull up. Um, on some computers, you might have to extract it, but this is a MacBook, so this is how it pulls up. As soon as you open it, there's one right there. Open with Zip Extractor you this is your download tool right here right here you, if you toggle over it says download i downloaded it and there's my download and then it'll pull up i'm using two screens so that's why i'm dragging it over now say you want to go back in and open another one you're gonna open it up download and here it is right here now I have these on my downloads now I have people that are asking how can you use this on Cricut different things like that um, I don't design in Cricut I only use like Cricut for vinyl or for like my stickers or something like that but I can um, open it up it's literally a PNG file so you will be able to open it up in Cricut okay but that's literally how you download it with the Google Drive um, to be able to access your your PNG files. And as I stated before, they cannot be uploaded on Etsy individually because the files are it's so many files. Etsy only gives you five slots for um, uh, digital files. Okay, so I'm gonna press new project. Upload. Upload image. Go to my downloads because this is what I just downloaded. You see it popped up right here. Complex. I just always use com complex. Um, continue. And the files are already transparent, so there's nothing to remove. Apply and continue. Um, I'm assuming that you're definitely going to use this as a print and cut image because yeah, they are PNG files as stated in the description. It's not a SVG file, so you're not able to break it down unless you convert it yourself upload that's your upload right there you should be able to use your basic I guess Canva knowledge and then from there you can upload it into your screen and you can design it as you please um, and then of course you can uh, size it down because of course you're not going to be able to do anything with it this big you're not going to be able to do a printer cut if that's what you're trying to do. Um, the software that I recommend is Photoshop. You can pull this into Canva. PicMonkey is another software that you can use. Um, I just personally don't design like my files that I'm going to print inside of Canva unless I guess you're doing a printer cut. But as you can see, you can size it down. And then, of course, if you want to layer like the pictures or something like that on top, you'll just do it, you know, that way. And I just have it zoomed out so that uh, I can see it a little better. But that's pretty much it. Once you get it into there, you'll be able to size it down. And then you'll be able to add your images as you please. And then whatever size mats I guess you're using, that's how you'll design it. Um, and then make your cut. But of course, you know right here is because it's too small. I mean too big. And see they have the auto resize option as well. And you can use that, I guess, if you want to. But like I said it before, I don't, I don't use it to design. Now it's like the size for you to be able to print a cut, and then you just add in your images at the top. But that's pretty much it. This is the video that goes to this specific file. So if you need any other assistance, you can write me. Feel free to write me. But as I stated before, it's pretty simple.